Alright guys, what's up? Uh, one thing I need, do need to say before I start this video is that I'm sorry that I, for those of you who do watch my videos, I do not make a whole lot of videos. Uh, mostly because of school and I'm always busy, you know, with my friends and stuff. I don't have a lot of time to do this type of stuff because, you know, I'm always busy. But I am reviewing this gun today. And since it is summer now, I will, I do plan on making a whole bunch of reviews for guns. Because I got a lot of money to blow. Uh, because I've been, I'm going to be working for some people. Anyway, what I'm reviewing today is the revolver. It's made by UHC. It's a 44 Magnum, obviously, as you can see down here. But... It's a nice paint job and everything. I've used this gun. I have it, I've had it for two months, and really, it doesn't do good for shooting. It shoots, but it sucks because the BB's practically roll out of the barrel. So I'm not doing a shooting test on it or anything. I'm just going to show you what's all about it. It's all plastic except for the the shell release right here, and triggered plastic. Everything's plastic on this gun except for that. Which I don't know why you would just only have one piece. Screws are metal too. Anyway, you know, it shoots like that. You pull back the hammer. It's got the safety right here. I'm trying to set that. That's the safety. Oh, it's kind of hard to get to. It's right, uh, right above the trigger, right there, where it has the logo A S G R K. And it's got adjustable sights. The screw right there that makes it go high or low. There's a screw right there in the very side that takes it to the side and stuff. It's got nice neon red sights right there. It does set up really well. Whenever I first got the gun, it didn't work too well. Uh, it did shoot, but it didn't go a whole lot long. Mostly because it's a revolver, and it's nearly impossible to make an airsoft revolver. So, honestly, it's not their fault. It's just, these are really hard guns to make. You know, mostly because of the tubing and stuff. And it's really hard to get pressurized air to come straight out of just a spring. And I can't pull the hammer back because I'm safe. That's one thing. Alright, there we go. So, yeah. I'm going to set the gun. I just dropped the fans. That's horrible. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> that is horrible. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Anyway, you just have shells like this. I'm very clumsy today. You just got shells like this. They have a little rubber sleeve. I'm not going to put a BB in there because, like I said, I'm not going to be shooting it. And I'm not going to waste my time putting BBs in there. I'm not even going to shoot them because I'm just wasting BBs because I know I'm not going to put them back in the container. But anyway, yeah, you got this nice little rubber sleeve. You stick it in there. All you have to do is just push them right in there in that hole. Then you just stick them in here, like fix in there like that, snugly. Pull the hammer back, you're ready to shoot it, you shoot it. The BB flies out about two or three feet and then it starts curving down. <clears throat> right now with this gun, I've had it for two months. Well, I got it since Christmas, and it's like May 31st right now, so. I got it in December, uh, so however long that is, that's not exactly two months. <laughs> that's nowhere near two months, that's like three, four, four, I don't know. I don't keep count, you know, I don't pay attention to the months. I got better stuff on my mind than that. <clears throat> anyway, yeah. Shoots, it, it doesn't even shoot anymore, it just rolls out the barrel. I wouldn't recommend just having it up for looks. Don't use it to shoot in wars because it will not work too good. Well, it won't work good at all. So yeah, it comes with two spare shells, including the six shells. You will not see the six shells because they will be in the revolver. Uh, yeah, I mean, they pretty did a good job copying it with everything you know it's nice ABS, ABS plastic it looks just like the 44 Magnum 
but I've seen other YouTube videos where people have ordered um, different guns on the Sparks and they've gotten just the 44 grand. I don't know if that was because they were out, but I've seen people try to order like the Smith & Wesson ones. Or they've tried to order the 44 Magnum ones and gotten the Smith & Wesson ones. But anyway, yeah, just stuff like that. Has features, one-on-one -on -one scale, you know, whatnot. It's an alright gun, I mean. Looks about 8, fiery, negative 2, really. Anyway, that's it. You will be... I do... I have upgraded my collection, as you see right there. I have changed some of the rearrangements of guns and you do see new guns up there but I'm not going to review those um, in about seven days I will be getting some new guns which I will be making reviews that's when I will do my collection and I'll also be making reviews on my new guns also pretty soon so yeah that's it for now thanks so yeah have a nice day everybody Hope you liked this video. If you liked it, like, of course, comment, subscribe, what's not, you know, whatever y'all people do. Yeah, see you later.